What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Hidden Fates opening. Uh, this is actually the last product that we had that I brought with me to for the holidays when I had to travel out of town. So, actually, it, by this point, I am back in Boston. Uh, but, you know, we have one more opening for you guys. And actually, we had some packs that we picked up on, or they got for Christmas from our girlfriend and her family. So, we have two Cosmic Clips, Unbroken Bonds, and one of these mini tins. Um, actually, one thing I'm going to start using these mini tins for is to carry like my dice and stuff and counters uh, for competitive purposes. So pretty excited about this tin. Came came at a nice time. I'm just going to move my mic a little bit. Hopefully you hopefully the sound quality is fine, even though the mic's a little bit further away from me. So it is 2020. Hope everyone had a good New Year's Eve. Hope everyone. Got home safe for whatever from whatever your plans were. Oh, I remember these guys. The corners are always going to be damaged, especially at this point. Like if you buy it in a store and this thing's just been bouncing around for I don't know the better part of a year by now. And yeah, this metallic coin. It's not metallic. It is a metal Pokemon instead. But uh, yeah, actually the new tins are terrible as far as the pack selection goes. But anything with a Burning Shadows pack is never too bad. Let's go into Evolutions to start with. So yesterday we put out a video for kind of like what our plans are for the upcoming year on the I Want a Turtle channel. So yeah, definitely if you have any additional thoughts or any last thoughts from yesterday let me know in the comment down below always looking for feedback from you guys on the channel and we start off with a reverse clefairy pretty cool i don't mind when they change the type that's actually kind of cool but when they you know change the rarity that i do not approve of and then for our first pack oh wow dragonite dragonite ex i couldn't tell there's so much shine so much glare going on and man i talk about this a lot but xy i love the texturing you can see it on the card where today you have to like zoom in real quick oh yeah there is texturing okay this card is is real it's not fake but uh that is how it should be all right let me figure out what i need to do for my piles all right let's go with that for now okay that is a great hit to start this opening with and oh man let's get something good in here we all know what we want here this would be the best gift ever if this pack also has a nice textured card Preferably fire type. You know what I'm getting at. All right. Let's see. We don't need to move the cards anymore. That's that is hidden fates. That's later in the video. Escape rope. Pretty good card. Rhyhorn. Ralts. Tangla. Tynamo. Crow brawler. Mud sail. Oh, is that another rare? All right. This is this tin is awesome so far. And oh wow, another ultra rare. Wow, that is super off centered. And ooh, okay. One thing about the some of the new Hidden Fates cards is if the front is off center, it doesn't necessarily mean the back is, which is very strange. I feel like that will affect grading going forward. But look how off center that is. And oh my, look at this results of this mini tin. This is probably one of the best mini tins I've ever seen. All right, now we go to Unbroken Bonds. Let's see. Let's see if we can't pull a Dedene. Super useful card. Currently have three, and uh, while I don't think they're many decks will need four it'd be good just to have a playset just in case so if we do fall into that situation we don't need to purchase a new one but what a great opening so far shout out to you amy thank you for this these packs and here we go on to unbroken bonds haven't seen these cards in quite some time darumaka lucario oh my gosh another rare and a wigglytuff And on to Cosmic Eclipse. Hope everyone had a very good Christmas. Actually, I don't think I asked. Like, if you did get anything Pokemon related or not. Like, what was your highlight from the holidays? Never sure which way the code card's going to be facing these days. All right, Cosmic Eclipse. Ooh, that's a good card right there. Clay, 
Krikatoon, Rolts, Simeon, Jang Mo O Rowlet, Skrulp, Vibrava, and then, oh my gosh, we are doing so well in this opening. Venusaur, this is like a hidden, we are not opening non-hidden fates pack so far, and but getting hidden fates rates. So you cannot complain about that. This is a very good Christmas opening. All right, on to our last pack before we get into that Hidden Fates ETB. I, I saw something shiny when I pulled that code card out. Bella Bell and Brazen Man. Super annoying card in the control decks. Yeah, so while I definitely am going to keep pursuing uh, the competitive side of things, the control decks will be a tough pill for me to swallow. Just, oh my gosh! What is this? Amy, thank you so much! Uh, this is a great secret rare to pick up and would go really nicely if we end up playing some of those control decks again. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. Uh, they're just so annoying to play against and you know PTCGO is where I get most of my practice. Where are those scissors? PTCGO is where I get most of my practice and I feel like control matchups take three times as long if not more so that would just I don't know just does not sound fun Actually, it really isn't fun when you're facing against control. It's probably more fun when you're when you're the one doing the control, but still. All right, we got 10 more packs of Hidden Fates. Here is the code card. And the amazing promo, best promo, Hidden Fates, in my opinion. We can cover up that guy, that's okay. And 10 packs. Put these off up here. All right, running low on display space for this. Last part of the opening. And here we go. Still have many cards we need to find for our master set. Our hidden fades. Back to the normal or setting the reversed as the last card. Giovanni, Koga, LT Sir Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Slowpoke, Voltorb, Erica's Hospitality is our rare. Ooh, Shiny Eevee. Very nice. That's a good one. This Eevee doesn't look too different. Like the shiny Eevee is just kind of like a pale Eevee. So while the shiny is not that impressive, definitely one of the more popular hits as far as the non GX shinies. I think we'll do this like this now. All right, moving on to pack number two. That is an amazing start to our hidden fates portion of this video. But my gosh, like actually. This opening is firing on all cylinders right now. I'm loving this. And once again, I think I saw something shiny in the corner of this or the side of the pack. Pikachu, Charmander, Voltorb, another Eevee of the Oh boy, what we have here? It's gonna be a GX or maybe a full art supporter. Ooh, Lycan Rock GX. Very nice. Whenever I see this uh version of the Lycanroc. Always reminded of Pokemon Masters. That guy is still so good with Olivia Sinclair. Alright, two for two. We went, I think, four for five on our loose packs. Actually, one from a mini tin and then some loose blisters. So, man, this is probably my best opening in quite some time. And we still have eight more packs of Hidden Fates. Charmander, Bills, Nelsus, pretty good card, and a Zapdos. All right, so this is our first miss. Rest Energy, Brock, Farfetch, Graveler, Caterpie, Paris. Ekans, Psyduck, Staryu, hoo hoo, Giovanni himself, love this art, and then a Cleef Fairy as well. Okay, we got a Rocket Supporter, a Shiny GX, non-shiny, four packs in. 
just keeps getting better and better. All right, Charmeleon, Brock again, Farfetch'd, Coughing, Cubone, Geodude, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Kangaskhan, and a Cubone. Cooled off a little bit. As you know, I'm big on ratio, so absolute home run on the non-Hidden Fates stuff, and very good start to the Hidden Fates. Looking for that five threshold, that five hit quota, and then from there, everything is bonus. Eevee, Snorlax, oh my gosh, shiny Garchomp. Garchomp is another one, we pull a lot of these. This is just the regular, regular printing. This uh, must be, this ETP is probably from like the initial wave. So we did pick up a good amount of those. As far as all the, e the Hidden Fate stuff, um, the ETV is probably my favorite one, uh, especially because like if, you know, ones that I've just held on to and opening now or haven't opened yet, I feel like they're the easiest ones to store. Like those Pokeball collections, they're just so like massive to store and the premium collection box, first off, like you need one with a good figure and if not, then I mean, uh, it's unlikely it'll get damaged while in storage. I guess it's not poss it's possible. I'm not sure. But anyway, this one seems to be the best for storaging. Not too big and fits nicely in a box. Ooh, Brock, you belong over here. Koga, Magikarp, Staryu, Slowpoke, Voltorb, Pikachu with the bubbles, and Golem. And a Rangaroo Shiny. All right, that is hit number five, plus a reverse energy. We have two bonus packs. All right, this was an amazing opening. Thanks again, Amy. And uh, yeah, let me know in a comment down below, what was your highlight of your holiday season? Giovanni, for me, it was just probably spending time uh, with friends and family. At this point, my family is kind of spread all over the place, so it's not often that we all get to, or most of us can get together. Birds Trio Full Art. Nice. Best Birds, second best Birds. Then the rainbow one. Convince me otherwise. Here we go with our last pack for our amazing opening. So once again guys, I want to thank you all for an amazing 2019. Looking forward to a great 2020. Here is our last pack. We have a wheezing and thanks for watching. As always, I'm Moana Turtle. Ooh. And I'll catch you guys next time.